What's going on everybody? Welcome to the fourth matplotlib tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about scatter plots. So scatter plots, real simple type of graph. Generally the idea of a scatter plot is to either show correlation between something or sometimes a distribution, but generally correlation or some sort of relationship between two types of variables, or at least in our case two types, because this will be a x and y, but Later on down the road, when we talk about 3D scatter plots, you can actually compare three variables at a time. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, like with population ages or something, what we could do is, you know, maybe age to disease or age to cancer rate or something like that, and we could compare. Uh, but in the interest of not being dismal, we'll go ahead and just uh, use some sample data that we make up. So let's just get rid of basically all of this information. We'll leave the X label, Y label, title, legend, and show. That's fine. So to do scatter, it's pretty simple. You just do a plt.scatter, and then you scatter your x's and your y's, and you can give it uh, a label, and we'll call this um, skit scat, and then we'll give it a color of um, k, okay? And then uh, what we're gonna want is some x's and some y's, so we'll just say x, and then here's another, well, we'll just do it simply, actually. X equals an empty list, Y equals an empty list, and we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8. I can't type anymore, so we'll just stop at 8. And then we'll just put some random variables in here. Bam, done. Okay, so you've got your X's, your Y's, your scatter down here. You're ready to rumble. Here we go. Bam. So you've got a scatter plot, and you've got... Um, you know, it, basically the little dot 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 kind of denotes um, that this is this is to let you know it's a scatter plot, basically. So pretty simple stuff. That's really nothing uh, more to talk about on a scatter plot. Um, one thing that you can do too is you can have a marker, and the marker on a scatter plot is like the type. So right now we have an O because it's a circle that's filled in. Basically, there's a whole bunch of markers. So this would be like a star, for example. You can't really tell, but it's a star. So it's a very small star. So another thing that you might do is comma marker size. And I believe the default is one. So if we did something like, I don't know, 10, we should wind up with a pretty big marker. Oh, marker size, maybe uh, marker underscore size. Let's try that one on. Let's try that one on for size. Oh, God, I made myself laugh. Oh, okay, we can't get marker size apparently. Uh, so we can, what we can do is anytime you're having this, let's do scatter plot marker size. Our good friend Google, we come over here and maybe it's just size. Maybe that's what people are doing. Yeah. So for a scatter plot, apparently you can just do S for size. So we'll go ahead and run that again. And I did not want to make them any bigger. Let me go look at this. Size is 10. You should be able to make these like massive. Marker is a star. Let's go back. Size equals, let's make it 100 then. I will fight you. <laughs> there we go. So it looks like they're a lot bigger. That's crazy. So they go on a different range. Uh, later on, we'll talk about marker sizes uh, with the, the 3D scatter plots, I'm pretty sure, have it. They're called marker size. Anyway, so S will be your size in this case. And so, like, uh, let's do 500, make it huge. There we go. <laughs> it's coming out of our legend here. Anyway, uh, that's how you can kind of change the size and the marker. There's a whole bunch of markers. Uh, one thing that we can do is we can, like I was trying to say before in the first video, matplotlib marker options. Generally, what you can do, anytime you got a question, because I don't know all the matplotlib markers. I know some of them, they're like stars. You can use carrot top and that'll make like a triangle and stuff. But you're never going to remember everything that's possible. And then like with matplotlib colors, there is like a hundred of these like really long, like they have like pinkish orange as a color. And it's like, what? Well, you're not going to remember those. So what you do is you use Google, right? And you type it in, matplotlib marker options. Awesome. Here's an, uh, there's a legend guide. That's not what we're looking for. We're probably looking for markers though. 
And then here you go, you've got all your marker types. So you could have a point, it could be a pixel, a circle, triangle, like all this stuff, <laughs> okay? So you have so many options that it would behoove you to go ahead and check it out and Google it and see what all your options are. But you can do like an X to uh, color. Let's do um, marker equals, let's make it a star and see if that works. For some reason we weren't able to change the size. Okay, so we got some big stars. And then you can have like an X, like a, oh, we just gotta do the X just because I brought it up. Okay, so anyway, there's a bunch of marker types. And look, you should look it up just so you can get acquainted with all the types. Not like I'm gonna run through tutorial going through all of the markers. So anyways, that's it with scatter plots, the size of the scatter plot, marker style, that kind of stuff. Uh, line graphs can also have line style and line width. We'll talk more about that as we get there. But if you have any questions or comments on this tutorial, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.